Sage, and this is a energy reading entitled "What Changes Will Happen Within the Next Month." Now, keep in mind that these are general messages, so not all messages will apply to everyone, and these are timeless as well. So, if you happen to click on this reading at a different time stamp or a different date, that's okay. More than likely, this message is for you. So. Before we get into these messages on what changes will happen within the next month, let us run the promos to find out exactly what's going on here at the Modern Day Sage. Tune in. We'll be right back. Brooklyn, New York, are you ready? August 27th, King Simon will be there. Etoy Hairston will be there. Alison Negra will be there. Lloyd Strayhorn will be there with special guests. Sister Kapunya Ife will be there. All happening at Nicholas Brooklyn Mini Workshop. Text now, call now to be there. Wednesday, August the 10th at 9 p.m. on King Simon Presents on YouTube and Facebook Live. Myself along with Sister Kapunya Ife, Empress Etoy Harrison, and Lloyd Strayhorn will be speaking on being aligned with the purpose. Tune in. The best solution to your spiritual wellness is here at the Modern Day Sage. Experience that great feeling of being free with our psychic products and services, such as spiritual readings and consultations, spiritual healing through rituals, energy, and spell work. Also, shop our wide range of healing products, from bracelets, oils, to candles, and become the best version of yourself. Visit themoderndasage.com. Yo family, Cosmic 19 Alignment and Enhancement Workshop featuring Billy Carson, Ellison Nedra, King Simon, Dina Devine, and Joshua Sara. Happening all in Florida, Fort Lauderdale. Text me now. The Modern Day Sage Intuitive Reading Special. Get your audio reading for only $99. For more information, go to IG at the Modern Day Sage. Okay, and we're back. So, last promo ran was the $55 reading. Make sure that you order yours today. In order to get this deep discount, DM me on Instagram at the Modern Day Sage for that coupon code to order your website or to order on the website. You can get your reading for $55 and... Once you get your reading, you can listen to it as many times as you need to get the information and to see how it applies to you and to follow up if necessary, okay? So let's get into these messages on what changes you'll see within the next month. One thing I do want to mention, I will um, start getting into pick a card readings because I absolutely love pick a card readings. Right now, I am working on the setup to be able to um, record more videos. But right now, I need a new phone. The memory on my phone is virtually not there. So it's a lot of rearranging that I have to do. And when I upload videos like this, it doesn't take as much um, storage space as it would a video. So I'm working on a new phone, upgrading my iPhone 12 Pro Max. To a 13, um, an iPhone 13 Pro Max with one, what is it, trig, trigabyte. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to get the highest storage possible that I can get with an iPhone. So I don't have to worry about these issues when I'm doing my videos. Okay, so let's get into using those stitches. Okay, let us start off with the spiritual af to see what changes are happening within the next month 
we're going to pull one card from here and it says here pretending to be a savage won't heal your whole heal that hole in your heart baby so it says here you know who the real ogs are the ones who ain't got shit to hide from anyone especially themselves real ogs claim their humanity they hold those wounds up to the light like mufasa holding simba can you hear that inspirational music starting yeah that's you starting the hero's journey love bug okay so what i'm getting as far as the type of changes that you'll see within the next month is you being more authentic in your walk being more authentic putting yourself out there probably sharing your journey more on social media or sharing your journey more with others in some sort of communicative um form whether that's writing a book you know, doing some type of art, um, artwork, just expressing yourself creatively and releasing those wounds that you're holding, okay? Making yourself more um, relatable in a sense, you know, sharing your journey. So others will see you as some sort of inspiration or motivation, okay? So you're really putting yourself out there within the next month in whatever form that may be and for everyone it's a little bit different so if you've been having some ideas or you know that thought in the back of your head to do x y and z you are most definitely on the right track and spirit wants to acknowledge that you should go ahead and do that because not only are you doing it for yourself you know because you don't have anything to hide but you're also going to be able to help someone else along in their journey as well as you shine your light for others, okay? So let's get some angel numbers. Let's get an a angel number. And I'm going to ask that you pause this reading. And if you don't pause it, just make sure that you write this angel number down and Google this angel number. The angel numbers are very much so helpful, okay? Oh, you know what? I'm so rude. Pause. I didn't welcome nobody. Okay, I didn't welcome nobody. Welcome, welcome, welcome all. <laughs> welcome to all my returning viewers and subscribers. And, well, welcome back. And welcome to all my new viewers. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Like and thumbs up this video. And hit that notification bell because you want to be in the loop when I drop another video, okay? So, I am so sorry, you guys. I'm so rude. Like, y'all just y'all just welcome anyway. I ain't got to welcome y'all all the time. Just come on in. Come on in and get these messages. Get these messages. All right. So, let's get these angel numbers, okay? All right. Let's see. That fell off the board. So, that don't count. So, you got two here. One, one, five. Okay, so the angel number here is two. One, one, five. Go ahead and get you a piece of paper. Write it down. Pause this video. Google angel number 2115. That's 2115. Okay. So let's get into these messages with the everyday tarot let's see what changes are happening within the month within the next month let's see what changes are happening for the collective within the next month thank you so much spirit for these messages for the collective i ask that i am a clear vessel allowing these messages to pass through me with accuracy and clarity that this message is protected and that we all are protected. Thank you so much, spirit, angels, ancestors, guardians, higher self, and everybody else. Hashe. Okay, let's see. What's coming up? Okay, so I see you working really hard within the next month. There's some type of work being put in. Um, slow but steady progress here with the Knight of Pentacles, okay? There is some sort of offer, you possibly offering what you have, like a product um, or some type of service you're offering. 
that you really put in hard work into. And I see you just really sticking to this path, okay, of whatever this is that you have to offer, okay? I'm seeing that you're also planning things out when it comes to making tangible strides in the world, okay? Possibly with your business, possibly with the product or getting something done, okay? Let's see. have the tower so something very shocking some type of structure is coming tumbling down possibly a belief system um some sort of communication is crumbling down this may be a instance of like a situation where you may have been prideful and something happens here to where you're having to rethink things or even when it comes to your feminine energy, you're going to have to restructure the way that your feminine energy moves. Um, if it has been, let's say, stuck in a certain cycle, I see something new is coming in with this tower card. Um, and the reason why I speak of feminine energy, because the tower card to me represents some sort of chaos and feminine energy is very chaotic it, it's an energy you know masculine energy is structure feminine energy is chaos okay so there's some type of restructuring being done with your feminine energy so if you have found yourself disorganized or feeling like you've been all over the place there's something new coming in through this um lightning bolt epiphany type of situation okay Let's see. Some type of clarity is coming in. So with the Ace of Swords, this is like you cutting some type of cord, but also this is some sort of communication or clarity coming in. Some type of new idea is coming in something that you are really excited about putting effort to and taking action towards so through this tower moment there is some sort of breakthrough in the way that you think in regards to how you move in this tangible world okay let's see here we have the five of cups coming out the five of wands the two of wands and the five of swords. So five, five, five. So there's going to be some major changes in the world or in your um life within the next month or so. When it comes to this breakthrough, it's a breakthrough from all this negative energy. Okay. You have a disappointing energy, conflicted energy, feeling like, you know, you're being left behind in a sense or feeling like, you know someone's there's some type of upmanship so if this is you presenting some type of new business idea or a new product you're having a new way of thinking like possibly in the past you may have been very chaotic in presenting yourself you know um inconsistent not really putting yourself out there um not really, you know, being very disorganized in how you move forward with business or some type of project. But there's a new idea coming in, some clarity or breakthrough in regards to how you're putting yourself out there. You know, you may have been in a place of disappointment where, you know, it's been a very competitive field or, you know, there's been upmanship in the past, but there's clarity coming in with this tower in regards to this energy to possibly why you have been very chaotic or disorganized in your approach to putting yourself out there, okay? Um, with the two of wands, I am seeing that you are discovering something new within the next month or so. You're discovering possibly new ways to put yourself out there, a new strategy, discovering something new, you're planning, 
and you're really explore, exploring your options in regards to the path of head, you know, before you really take action. So with this Knight of Pentacles, you know, it's very slow because you're planning. You're exploring all your options to know exactly what you want to do to manifest exactly what you want, okay? Um, there is like with your feminine energy, it's like you are allowing your intuition and passion to guide you to confirm your next steps in moving forward. So it is a lot of movement within the next month, but it, I'm seeing a restructuring in the way that you present yourself, your product, your service you know, your project. Okay, let's see. Let's get some more information here. The Two of Cups, so some type of partnership is involved here. This could be romantic or business. Or you could be working with someone. Someone that you see eye to eye with. You have the High Priestess here. So, for some, this may be a very intuitive business or, you know, this might be some type of life coaching, a tarot business, a spiritual business, Reiki business. Um, it could be a spiritual connection that you have with someone who's going to be some sort of guide or mentor to help you on this path. Okay, but this is also like a form of self-mastery. Um, the emperor, you being your own boss, okay, you taking the lead, you taking control over the situation and allowing that masculine energy once again to come in to help structure the way that you present your product, your service to the world. You're putting yourself out there in a more structured way, okay? The queen of cups. This is something that you love to do. And the way that you're going to present yourself is going to be more compassionate. You're going to have a softer side to yourself. And um, the way that you present your work. I see that you're working really hard to really allow your more feminine side to come out. Your intuitive, softer side when you're presenting this new idea or this project. Or this business or product okay and what i am seeing it is going to take a lot of inner strength courage to be able to do this okay with the strength card okay let's get some more with this tarot what is coming up within the next month Okay, so it's just, once again, you're just moving forward in any type of um, path that you have that may be very competitive. Okay, you're walking away from playing small. You know, the page of Pentacles came out, and I always see this as a, a small energy, you know. Um, but with the page of Pentacles, it's like you being inspired you know, about a new financial opportunity or career opportunity. And you see the um, potential and the growth to be able to manifest your goals. But I see that you're really moving forward with this, with the chariot card. You're having that bravery and pushing all obstacles out of the way, pushing your competitor out of the way and moving on to something that you know that's fitting for you in regards to this business or project. You're moving on to higher energy. Okay, you're moving on from competition because 
the mindset, it feels like the mindset that you're taking on is there is no competition with the Knight of Wands. You're about it. Period. You're ready to move forward and you're about it. You're charged up. You're motivated and you are channeling that energy that you have into action. So there's nothing that's going to be able to shake your, conf uh, your confidence in regards to making this happen with the Knight of Wands here, okay? All right, so let's get some more Here's messages. Here's a station you might like. Classic rock and Amazon music. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. What? Where, where did Alexa come from? Where'd she come from? Where'd she come from? Girl, where you come from? All right, let's get some messages from the Archangel Oracle. What's popping off within the next month? Okay, Archangel Roquil. Enter higher planetary service. Be a blazing light. All right, let's read the messages for Archangel Roquil. Archangel Raquel is a strong and powerful universal angel of the rank of Seraphim. He resides in the center of the earth to help Lady, Lady Gaia. His color is black. His retreat is above Uluru, Australia, and he oversees that continent. He is the twin flame of Archangel Jewel, Jewelis, who is in charge of the oceans and they work together. They take the knowledge and wisdom you have stored in your earth star chakra and use it to enable you to make a deeper connection with Lady Gaia. Humans are bridges to source and Archangel um, Raquel, Raquel, Raquel collects the energy that flows down through humanity and sends it to Lady Gaia. He also directs it to the people who are ready to use it for the planet and to the portal, ley lines, and great pyramids of the earth. For they are cosmic computers. In addition, he sends his energy to the four constellations, stars, and planets connected with the Earth's ascension, Orion, Sirius, the Pleiades, and Neptune. The guidance with this card reads, This card calls you to a higher planetary service in a way that illuminates you as, illuminates you, as you serve. It suggests you bring light down through your 12 chakras and then mentally connect with Archangel Raquel and send the energy through the ley lines, then form bridges of light to the great pyramids of Earth and the stars. See Earth and the cosmos light up with pure golden light. It is important to make sure you are grounded and receptive through this process for pure energy from Archangel Raquel is now streaming back up through you, lighting you up. Be a blazing flame radiating in all directions. Okay, and so the spelling of this Archangel name is R O Q. U I E L. Just in case you want to learn a little bit more about this archangel. So once again, you being a light, you putting yourself out there and allowing people to see who you really are. So and what you have to offer, so you can help motivate and inspire others along this path as well. Okay, so moving on, we have the keepers of light of the light. Let's get some messages about what's happening. Within the next month. Within the next month. Okay, you have Diana. Focused intention, see? Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. So it's really a time about focusing, you guys. Okay, let's see here. Diana is the Roman moon goddess of the hunt. She is also known as Artemis in Greek mythology, where she has similar attributes. She is often depicted with wild animals around her, and as she is associated with the moon, she connects deeply with the wild beasts that come out at night. She is often seen holding a bow and a quiver of arrows, which signifies her ability to help us focus on a vision. She also helps us tune in to our intuitive side so that we can listen to the wisdom that will guide us towards our goal. In particular, she encourages women to move into their true power and promotes equality for all souls. Her message brings move forward, moves forward 
with unwavering faith, knowing that the universe is supporting you. Diana is helping you awaken your divine ability to manifest what you deserve. Any fear is only a reminder that whatever you are working on or through is an important issue for your growth. Your focus is strong now and will be particularly powerful at the full moon, which is coming up. The next full moon is a full moon in Aquarius, I believe. I believe the date is the 14th. I'm not 100% sure. We'll mention that in the next reading. But it says here, your focus is strong now and will be particularly powerful at the full moon. You may be aware of the night owl tendencies. This is because your angels and guides are sending you important messages that you may be missing during the day due to a busy schedule. Set some time aside to do a deep meditation to receive the guidance. Okay, so if you notice that your sleep pattern is off, you know, and you're possibly feeling restless, know that this is creative energy. And try to channel it the best way that you can, especially at night. Okay, let's get some more messages from the Quantum Oracle. What are some changes that's happening within the next month? Okay, optimism. Awesome. That's an awesome omen there that good things are happening. Let's read the message of optimism bright future a woman looks joyously at a sunrise over a beautiful valley abundant fruit hangs on the tree that surrounds her this is a card of great value and achievement your reality is shifting in a much more positive direction look for an exciting new development in money romance or your career this could also manifest as a personal accomplishment or a creative success. Old blocks are falling away and you are now, you are choosing to see the light at the end of the tunnel. There's an increase in optimism taking hold in your attitude. And you finally determine to raise your consciousness to a more positive outlook. This reveals a much more beneficial mindset than you may have had in the past. Your attitude of optimism ensures that a very bright future, perhaps one you may have not been expecting, is on its way. Wow. So, expect this to be a very good time within the next month or so. These are the type of changes. Positive changes are happening within the next month. Okay. Let's get some more messages from the Energy Oracle. Okay, three cards came out. You Wow what <laughs> okay so you have cornutopia which is like optimism is you know your harvest then you have man holding a heart and then you have the world card okay so we're gonna read all three of these I'm gonna start with cornutopia okay cornutopia reads Wishes fulfilled. An abundant harvest and great blessings are waiting for you, and you may even find all of your wishes fulfilled. This cornucopia of gifts for the universe can come in the form of financial financial riches, job fulfillment, romantic love, or all of the above. When you receive the cornucopia upright, you know that you've done important work and it's about to pay off. The seeds you planted in your energy and in your life are ready to be harvested in some significant ways get ready for a great feast of abundant value is being prepared for you now and spirit is applauding all of your efforts okay wow next message is the man holding the heart or holding a heart let's get these messages here male dealing with family love or emotions this tender man sits with flowers all around, holding a heart in his hand. For a man, this signals a greater clarity about emotions and their purpose in your life. In their life? In your life. Okay, yeah. Let me read that again. For a man, this signals a greater clarity about emotions and their purpose in your life. Okay. 
there could be a more balanced approach to family and love at this time, even if these have been confusing, confusing experiences for you in the past. For some, this card upright could signal the presence of a new man in your life, one who tends to be more thoughtful and aware. Whether or not this man is a love interest or friend, he brings a high intention to help where personal projects, family, or home is issues are connected or concerned. Okay, and that's what I felt, you guys. There's some type of partnership, masculine energy, that structure that's going to help bring structure. Okay, so we have here the world, expansion and opening up. The man in this picture is looking out over a bay above which the beautiful sphere of earth is rotating. This card is reminding you to expand your vision and contemplate some much broader options. The world is wide, so there's a lot out there to consider. In the modern age of technology, this could specifically be referring to creating or expanding to a more global network through the internet or social marketing. What did I say? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> kidding but no I do feel like it's some type of social media involved here okay drawing this card also lets you know that you have unlimited resources available to you and now is the time to think big as they say the world is your oyster so get ready to gobble it up and that's what I was saying in the two of wands like you know the world is at your hands the internet global I didn't necessarily pick up internet from that but the two of wands could symbolize the internet you know reaching worldwide heights or expansion so getting that promotion going on the internet putting yourself out there okay and so our final card for this reading is the coming from the isis oracle let's get our final messages for what changes you'll notice within the next month. What's coming up for you in the next month. Okay. So we have here soul retrieval. Ooh, deep soul healing with the goddess. Yes. Oh my gosh. This is like so power, powerful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's see. So retrieval. Let's get these final messages for this reading. Okay. Um, Isis, healing goddess, now offers you spiritual restoration and deep soul healing through the art of soul retrieval, reclaiming pieces of you lost through trauma and old and new. Soon you will enjoy greater wellness, energy, and power, as well as the opening of gifts and soul abilities you did not know you had. Did you know that pieces of you can be trapped in the past, in traumatic experiences, and in relationships, even those long since gone, because part of your power remains with another? This can happen because of permission subconsciously given for them to hold a piece of your spirit. Then the time comes for such permissions to be revoked, and the pieces of self to be reclaimed and restored to the soul. Master healer and goddess of deep soul restoration, the Lady Isis now guides you to make peace with the past and reclaim the lost pieces of your soul. The time has come for you to take yourself entirely into your own possession, to call back your soul from trauma in this lifetime and others, to give yourself back to yourself wholly and completely. In doing so, your life will flourish, infused with greater energy, into beautiful new expression. Isis calls the soul back into wholeness again. Her passion, determination, and unfeeling love for her beloved Osiris restores him from a dismembered, distorted, and fractured self into a whole divine masculine being once more. The oracle of soul retrieval guides you to forgive and reclaim your own power and energy in totality now, even if the trapped energy is so unconscious that you do not even know that you are missing part of yourself. Searching for, inner, searching for any inner pieces or inner places that feel incomplete or draining in a way to commence the process of soul retrieval. Forgiveness can be a good place to begin the work more consciously. This is a hard spiritual work process. 
sometimes because we can want to be right or justify in what we feel or perceive and we don't want to be harmed again by allowing inappropriate behavior in the action of forgiveness you are simply reclaiming your energy from the situation person experience so that it is at your disposal instead of being trapped in their energy field what is most likely to occur is that the person place or situation will simply fall away from your life and be released you will now be opening yourself up to attack. You will not be allowing, or excuse me, you will not be opening yourself up to to attack and will be wiser and stronger for your forgiveness and the ability that forgiveness gives you to reclaim your spirit. You will have more energy and with no further effort, you will actually move on, not just in mind or body, but in spirit. This oracle also indicates you have healing abilities that you are capable of channeling soul energy to help others forgive and reclaim their spirit too the more you base your work in unconditional love which is the true nature of the soul the more powerful your work will become for yourself and for others in service your healing gift is quite deep and if you are interested in working in a healing capacity with others or wondering if this is the right calling for you then this card serves as a confirmation for you that's what i'm saying you guys this is somebody coming out with you know, being more open about their healing abilities, whether that's Reiki, their tarot gifts, their any type of spiritual gifts or services or products. It's coming out now. So it says the Oracle of Soul Retrieval also brings a special message for healers. Sometimes in your deep work with others, your desire to be of service can drain you if you are not carefully cleansing your energy field. If you have pulled this card together with the Pyramid of Light or the Pillar of Light card, then you are encouraged to do swift and thorough psychic and spiritual cleansing each evening and morning for the next several weeks until you feel more of yourself again. You will notice the thoughts and feelings of others becoming less intrusive. This is unconditionally loving. Your clients will gain more strength in learning to feed their own energy field rather than feeding off yours, and you will gain more strength in this process too. It can be hard work to change patterns of professional and energetic dependency, but it is worth the effort so that you do not become drained and unable to continue your path as a healer. This guidance applies equally to those that are not formal healers, but tend to attract those seeking guidance and support informally into their lives. Boom, so there you have it. And let me just mention this whole cleansing aspect. Let me tell you. I am a person that cleanses religiously, okay? Like, spiritual baths all the time, okay? For some, you may not require to take a spiritual bath every day. You might want to just sage and smudge yourself. Um, and you can check out my website for those products that I have for smudging and, you know, spiritual baths. Um I actually have to upload some things for you guys. But if you want to know more about those products, I do have some Florida water up there that's good for cleansing, blessing, and protection. But also I have spiritual baths. One that I mentioned was the black walnut, which cuts cords. But I also have one for cleansing as well. Um, I have resins that you can burn, like frankincense and myrrh. Um, frankincense and then I have one another one copal I have palo santo and sage I believe that would be the cleansing products that I have if I'm not oh yeah and I have a new product too um light as a feather this is a um a spiritual detox where it's a scrub a, a black charcoal activated charcoal scrub that you can either use as a scrub or you can put a little bit in your water and soak okay so these are some things that I have available if you want to know more about any of these products and you don't necessarily see them on my website as of yet just contact me on um IG at the modern day sage DM me let me know that you're interested in these products and I can tell you personally a little bit more about the products and how they work and what they'll do for you, okay? So if you gain information from this 
reading, please let me know in the comments. Um, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would so greatly appreciate that support from you guys and just knowing that you resonate with these messages, okay? Be sure to click that notification bell to be notified when any video uploads. Also, thumbs up this video to get these videos into the algorithms so we can grow this channel and be a growing community, okay? Because I really do care about what you guys have to say and the information that we can all share together because I'm not one of those people that just be like, you know, thinking that I'm better than, like, I really like talking to people. And y'all not talking enough. I don't like that. I'm going to tell y'all, I don't like that. I don't like that. So we got a problem. <laughs> no, we don't have a problem. But, you know, I, I like that interaction. So I'm really hoping to hear from you guys. Um, and shout out to those who do rock with me, um, who do comment on my videos. Stephanie, she's one of those people that go comment on my videos um yeah yes tv <laughs> she comes through um and comments and lets me know that she she resonates with the messages and ashley thank you so much for commenting on the videos but um yeah you guys so take advantage of the reading for 55 dollars get your audio reading today once again, message me. I'm making you guys message me on IG. DM me on IG so I can have a conversation with you guys. But to get this reading, message me or DM me on IG to get that coupon code to be able to order your reading from the website. Okay, so that is all, you guys. Make sure that you're taking care. These are the changes that you'll experience within the next month. Um, yeah, so till next time, you guys, love and light. I am signing off. Namaste. Modern Day Sage has really blessed my life. Her reading sessions are life-changing and really get you in tune and on the right path. I felt so much clearer about my place in the universe now that I have a totally new outlook about my path. She also has a wide assortment of spiritual products that can really raise the vibrations even more with oils, bracelets, and sprays perfect for clearing out the energy. And if that ain't enough, she also has services from Reiki spells and rituals that are sure to bring you to a state of peace and awareness. Check her out now at themoderndaysage.com or the Modern Day Sage on Instagram. Or give her a call at 800-774-4555 to book your appointment. Enlightenment is only a click away. Your spirit will thank you.